The competitions are huge to the sport because it really legitimizes it as something that can be ranked, um, something that can be recognized, something to work towards as opposed to just an entertainment type uh, sport. And it is extremely entertaining, obviously. But when you put competition in it and everybody works so hard and you get one chance to go on stage and, you know, sink or swim, so to speak, I think that it really legitimizes it as something that is not just sexy or just, you know, stripping or whatever. You get, you really get the sense that this is a physical activity that can be ranked, you know, one above the other or against other sports as well. My name is Leanne Riley and tonight we did the U.S. Pole Dancing Championships and I was lucky enough to get third place and I was proud enough to watch one of my students, Natasha Wang, take first place. This is my career. I'm a full-time in the industry. I own a big school in Los Angeles and I really want to be recognized as one of the top people in the sport. As I st When I started, I was one of the most popular pole dancers on YouTube in nationally and internationally and as these competitions began, my level in the sport kind of diminished as these girls who were winning these competitions kind of took precedence over me. And that was one thing that I really wasn't willing to let go. So I, you know, was like, okay, I got to get it together and, you know, work really hard to be able to be successful, be recognized by a league as one of the best as opposed to just be recognized by fans. And so for me, it's, it's my career and to be able, I have products that I sell, videos and to be able to tag myself as a champion, you know, is, is a marketing victory for me. So for me, it's, it's not a hobby anymore. I mean, this is my life and, you know, to be able to be at the top of the field and, you know, I don't have very many of these left in me because I am responsible for so many girls and I do love the coaching so much and I take so well to that, that I want to get myself out of the way so that I can, you know, give it all to them. I get so wrapped up in the other girls, in their performances, and it's so much easier for me to focus on them and give them the energy, give them the coaching than it is for me to work on myself, and that's something that I got to work on. And I have to find, you know, a good space and opportunity to um, have that because I'm everyone else's coach, I don't necessarily have a coach of my own. And this year I was lucky enough to have Kelly Vaughn of Girls Next Door um, creatively collaborate with me, which is a huge... Uh, source of my success because I had someone to bounce ideas off of. I had someone to tell me like, no, that doesn't look good. And yes, it does. And that was, it was a dream come true. And I just need to continue to find more people like that that can support me. And I'm really proud of my team. Um, team Be Spun went three uh, for four. Four of us competed uh, specifically with the team. And three of us all got medals and sashes tonight, which is a huge, huge victory when you look at the fact that there were 20 women competing and we had three of the top five spots. I mean, that's just a huge percentage and I'm so proud of all of you guys, all the girls and all the hard work we did and, you know, of what I'm doing in the sport besides just being a competitor, also being a coach. I'm really proud of that.